It's definitely gonna tip. Oh, <laughs> hold on. We might be able to get off the top of this. Or is it gonna flip completely over? Whoa! YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys a, another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are back with the fan favorite, Sinking Ship Survival. So, it's been several weeks since we've done one of these episodes, and we have a fantastic ship to check out here. So, today, we're checking out the MS Edisto Number 2, which I think I'm saying that right. And this ship was created by several people. Uh, it's going to be 5150VH, Aqua, The Red Creator, Jesse Gillette, I think I'm saying that right, Frightened Dog, and Railroad Preserver 2000. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check this out. Uh, it actually spawns at the, uh, the oil rig. So yeah, it's based on a 1960s ocean liner, and it's actually based on two real life ships, uh, the SS France and the Queen Elizabeth II, I believe. So yeah, we're going to be checking out the ship. We're going to do a little bit of a tour here. You can see there is lifeboats up towards the top, so that's going to be our means of escape here in this episode. And uh, let's just jump right into this. So if you guys are enjoying Stormworks on the channel and you want to see more Sinking Ship Survival, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. All right, so here we are in the bridge. So we need to move the clutch up. Let's move that up. And then we need to move the throttle up. And then we're gonna turn on fuel pumps and start it. Uh-oh. Uh, it doesn't sound like we're quite getting full power here. Hold on, we've got those. Okay, so that's deck lights. Uh, let's see, storage space. Hold on, there's gotta be something we're doing wrong here. Doesn't sound like we're cranking. All right, there it goes. So I was spamming the uh, ignition button and it took it a couple times, but it finally cranked. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, so uh, let's turn those back on. Thought maybe we were gonna have an issue there and oh yes, we're moving. Which by the way, I love the look of this ship. Like the paint on it, uh, the way the stacks have the, uh, the letters and the numbers on it. Yeah, that is a uh, really, really cool looking. So I think we're ready to go on a bit of a tour here. So let's go ahead and go, let's see, we got crew quarters back here. Uh, should we start from the outside? Maybe we should. Uh, we got that beautiful sun. Is it going down? Actually, we might be in sunset here in a minute. Uh, we're definitely gonna sink during the day because you guys seem to enjoy that a little bit more than the night sinks. So let's look at the lifeboats real quick. So Davit swing and you got winch up and down. So what, this just swings it off. Oh, that's actually really cool. So yeah, it moves it off, and then you would just lower it. Hopefully we have controls inside. I don't know, we'll have to see. All right, I'm assuming that's gonna go back here in a second. So yeah, we've got that. Oh, wow. So yeah, this is a uh, little lounge, and you've got the pool area down here. Uh, is there water? Yes, there is water in it. Uh, you got a little diving board. You're on the back of the ship here. I really like the way this is. You got a couple bars here. Oh, let's go up through here, and then let's see how do we get maybe go through here so oh there's another lounge over here and whoa this is actually really impressive uh is this the lights main light switch wow <laughs> that is bright oh this is beautiful i'm really digging this and wow look at that so you got like a chandelier here there's a uh i don't know is this the main staircase it seems like always uh like every ship like this has like a main staircase and you'll have several others, but there's always one that's all decorated. And I think this has got to be it, right? That is ridiculous looking. Also, it has a little map here. So I guess this is showing you where you are. So that's the back of the ship. That's the front. So we're on... Do we have a deck name? I mean, it's obviously like the orange deck. And then you got a blue one and a green one. I'm assuming that's going to be uh, quarters. Maybe you got like first class up here. And maybe some of the lower classes are down low. Uh, so here's a dining hall, and this leads back to, what is this? Dude, that is so cool. That's a little, wait, is this a mock-up of this ship, or is this other ships? Hold on. Oh, so this is uh, other models, which I'm pretty sure are part of the same fleet on the workshop. So you have the SS Atlanta here. You can light it up, and then we have the a bonus sinking. What does that mean? Uh, let's... 
I don't want to click this. This might be the sinking button. Uh, I thought the sinking button was up in the bridge, but this is a bonus sink. So maybe we'll have to do that. Or remember that's here. So let's go ahead and check out uh, what else is in this ship. This looks to be an exit. All right, so that leads back. Oh, there's a deck below the uh, the pool. All right, I didn't, didn't even know that. That's kind of cool. So let's go up here and... Oh, dude, there's a theater. Oh, that's really cool. Does it light up? Oh, yes, it does. Hold on, let's light this up real quick. Boom. There we go. So you got a full-blown theater here. You got the, uh, the lower seats. You got the upper seats. Uh, surprisingly, this ship doesn't lag too much. So I almost wonder if maybe, potentially... We could have run this in multiplayer. Which, by the way, this all seems to be... Okay, this is like crew quarters. So, where do the people sleep? All right, we're coming back up towards the top. This is a, another lounge area. And then you have the long halls with the uh, with the windows here. That looks cool. So, yeah, there's another lounge. Jeez, this thing is full of lounges. Is this another one over here, too? That leads back to the staircase. This one... Okay, this is a bar. Like a little karaoke bar, it looks like. All right, so you have that. All right, so that's a crew stairwell. We don't want to go in that. And this leads out towards... All right, so we're towards the front. All right, so what we're going to need to do... Let's go into photo mode real quick. And let's figure out where are we lost at. This is actually kind of a... It's not a complex ship as far as getting through it. I just kind of got a little bit lost. So I think this is... Is this crew quarters? Hold on, go up through here. Okay, so that's the main stairwells. Uh, let's see, there's the theater. You know, I'm not really sure there actually is places. I saw a long hallway, but now I'm lost as to where it was. These aren't the crew area, or this actually is the crew area. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. By the way, that noise that we've been hearing, it's this. So yeah, it's a, a little stabilizer in the bottom of the ship. I knew I wasn't going crazy. I was hearing something. Oh, here we go. So, is this where... Oh, look at this. Okay, yeah, this is what we missed. So this is where people sleep. These are actually really, really nice. So, yeah, you've got a hallway. You've got uh, it full of these uh, little rooms in here. All right, so that was down by the, uh, the bookstore, the library, whatever you want to call it. All right, so overall, very fantastic ship. But... This is Sinking Ship Survival, and if I can find my way back to those models, I almost have to click that button. Because I think there was two ways. Hold on, let's go up to the bridge first. Uh, we'll go up there, and I'll show you guys there's a button in there. And then I think there's another one, of course, in the back that we found. Which is apparently a bonus. Alright, so supposedly the first way to sink is in here. So you got a storage space, and there you go. There was a sinking button there. Now, that's going to be your normal sink, but I almost have to try the other one. Hold on, let's make sure we're steering in a decent direction here. We're not heading towards the island, are we? I should also probably test the steering to make sure it's actually uh, working. So, yep, it steers like a big boat. <laughs> uh, it's a little hard to turn, but that's to be expected. This is not supposed to be a nimble craft. It is a glorious looking craft, though. I'm absolutely in love with the way this ship looks. All right, so another thing we're going to do since it's sinking survival, let's go ahead and crank up those waves and see what this ship's got. Oh, no, immediately it picks up RPM, so that means the, uh, the props out of the water. All right, let's go to the front here. All right, we're fighting the waves. They're not too bad right now. We're kind of sandwiched between a ton of islands, so it's not deep. So we're not going to get those monster waves, but I still think it's probably enough here. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, make sure it doesn't tip over or anything. It does say it, it can capsize, so uh, we'll have to be careful how we get hit here. You know, the front end of the ship still looks like it's really odd. Like, you would swear the water line should be higher. Should we go down? Let's go check real quick. By the way, what's this? This is the... Oh, this is the bulkhead doors. So, everything's sealed off right now hold on let's go down all right so if it's taking on water it's definitely taking it on from the front all right so hold on let's go up here let's see if we can see how far down we are hold on, look at the front uh yeah that's not good okay you know what so we know we're taking on water we should probably 
fire some flares. There we go. And let's go ahead and start to swing the lifeboats off real quick. Uh, we want to be quick about this. I'm not going to hang around and die. <laughs> right, so that one's off. All right, so as you can see, it's going down from the front. We're lowering the lifeboat right now. Uh, there is a release on it right there. That's not good. Uh, come on. There it goes. All right, lifeboat is down. Okay, let's stop the winch. There we go. All right, so we need to hop off it. Do we want to? No, we're not going to stay aboard. We're going to do this one more time. We are going to hit it with the tsunami. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. It's driving now. No, we don't want it. All right, we need to stop that. All right, hold on. Stall out the engines because I don't need to get drug under the boat here. All right, so let's go. Actually, let's just go throttle down. All right, clutch down. All right, that should prevent it from exploding. So we've got that on. Let's go ahead and do it. Boom. Another one of those. All right, and we're going to hop overboard. Okay, don't fall in the water. <laughs> Hit it. Okay, so lifeboat launch. All right, so lifeboat is launched. So let's watch this thing go under. Yeah, it is favoring the front. I thought maybe for a second. Oh, there goes the flare. I thought it was going to capsize. So we're going to definitely test this out again. It's a fairly easy boat uh, as far as the survival aspect. Some boats really throw you for a loop and they go down really quick, but I could definitely tell there was something wrong there when it started listing forward. Oh, that is an epic looking sight. Okay, so the lifeboats don't have any motors. So let's hope we don't get drug under here. Wait, how far is the back gonna come up out of the water? Uh, oh, it's lifting. We, we've got to go into photo mode for this. This is gonna be cool looking. All right, there she is. She's starting to go down pretty fast now. Oh, that is glorious looking. I love the sinking in Stormworks. This is awesome. And is it gonna stand up? Oh, the back end's going really high up. Uh, the first funnel's under. The second one's about to be under. Oh, it's standing up. That's awesome. Oh, I didn't realize the deck furniture's loose. Oh, that's something. And it's turning. And it's gone. <laughs> wow. All right, that was actually kind of impressive looking. So there's only one more thing to do. And we've got to hit the same with the tsunami. It said something about it capsizing. So I just want to see that real quick. All right, so here we are. We're going to crank this up to max. So let's go wind. And there we go. And the tsunami. So tsunami should be coming from towards the, uh, yeah, towards the front of us here. I'm going to go ahead and turn a little bit. Oh, it's really dark in here now. Uh, did any of the lights turn on? It says the deck lights are on. Actually, I don't think there's really many deck lights. All right, this is fine. All right, so let's go ahead and seal that door. We need to go down towards the, uh, the main deck here. All right. We're going to see what this thing does in a tsunami. Whoa. Okay, don't fall down. Okay, crew stairwell. All right, so we're in the bar. Uh, is there lights in here? Need to find a light really, really quick. I think they're at the end of maybe the stairwell. So hold on. Let's go to the main staircase. The lounge. Here we go. Lights. Boom. All right, so we have lights. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is going to be cool. Actually, it lights up pretty good once you hit that main light switch. I think there might be another one up here. But, yeah, the lights actually uh, look pretty decent on the ship. All right, here comes the tsunami. All right, there it is. Oh, boy. What's it going to do? So, we're not quite going to get hit right on the side, but is it going to be able to survive the tsunami? Oh, that looks amazing. All right, we're getting up towards the top of it. Oh, it's going to tip. It's definitely going to tip. Oh, <laughs> hold on. We might be able to get off the top of this. Or is it going to flip completely over? Whoa. All right, that's kind of cool looking. Uh-oh. Oh, we might come back right side up. Oh, we're going to flip this way. Look at the deck furniture flying off. Oh, we're definitely going down the other side now. My poor character in there is probably dead. Uh-oh. Uh Wait, okay, where are we at? Uh, we are on the roof now. <laughs> oh, there's water coming through the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's feeling quick. Uh, oh, no! 
Okay, we're uh, we're in the water. Uh, so yeah, the toplet's in a lot of water. Yeah, we're definitely we're capsized. Okay, get out. Oh, this might be the most exciting sink. Come on, open that. We need to get the heck out of the boat. Okay. Oop, oop. We're in the lounge. Oh, how far over are we? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're definitely, uh, yeah, we're upside down now. <laughs> this is now turned into the Poseidon adventure. Okay, come on. Come on. Jump through here. Okay. All right, open this. Okay, get out. Get out. Oh, she's going quick. Uh, on. Uh, clear the deck. Woo! <laughs> Made it. Oh, it's going to go down quick. Yeah, the back's all the way down already. So, the main stairwell, that little uh, glass up at the top, I don't think it's actually glass. Like, it was just letting water pour in like crazy. And it is already done. That was awesome. Wow. I almost feel like we should have did that first. That was pretty amazing. And she's going to go to the bottom of the ocean. We might as well watch this happen. So I've been watching this for a bit. It stalled out just a little bit. Uh, so I'm assuming all the uh, the interior is still filling up with water right now. Uh, this is the theater. Does the theater even have water? The theater might be sealed. Yeah, it might not have water. Oh, there goes the front. There might be enough of an air pocket there to keep it up. That and the whole fact of it's so shallow right here. Like, I'm pretty sure the tops... It's like it's almost touching right now. That was cool. So I said we were going to watch this thing go down. I don't think it's going to go down any further than this. Uh, the theater in the... I guess it's towards the front. Yeah, it's completely sealed off. So that's like a huge air pocket in there. There's several areas that are sealed off. So unless that was completely open, it might stall it out upside down. But still, nonetheless, that is incredible looking. So yeah, definitely go check out the ship down in the description. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the Stormworks series. You guys are amazing. And we'll see you guys next time.